Hello and welcome once again to the Daily Devotional from Bowling Green Presbyterian Church in Bowling Green, South Carolina. My name is Martin Stokes and my wife Jane will be joining us in just a few moments to help with the song. I want to share with you today from John chapter 13, verses 3 through 5 and then dropping down to verse 12. This is Jesus showing his disciples the kind of attitude they should have as servants of God and of other people. So, Beginning at verse 3, we read this. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hand, and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. Drop to verse 12. After he had washed their feet, had put on his robe, and had returned to the table, he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. Very truly I tell you, Servants are not greater than their master, nor are the messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. Jane and I have been married for many years, and often if I did some favor for her and she thanked me, I would kid her by saying something like, uh, your servant is happy to serve, or will there be anything else, master? Or simply, my pleasure. Maybe preparing for a job at Chick-fil-A. Who knows? Sometimes I would just bow and walk backwards out of the room. Well, I have found that these days I don't have to pretend to be a servant. For I truly do enjoy doing the things that I do for her. It's not a lot, but it's fun to help her out. Doing dishes setting the table, vacuuming, whatever she needs me to do. Jesus said, if you know these things and do them, you're blessed. I found that Jesus was right, <laughs> as usual. We are blessed when we act as a servant. It means getting things in perspective. It was Jesus who said that servants are not greater than their master. And James said, humble yourselves before the Lord. He will exalt you. He will lift you up. He will make things good. Our prayer should be for the Lord to give us willing and humble spirits. Lady and Kelly Willard, wonderful musician, 1982 expressed a desire to have the heart of a servant in a song based on Matthew 20, 26. Whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant. I've added a couple of extra verses. We trust that it will bless you today. Make me your servant, humble and meek. Lord, let me live.
I'll leave you with this thought. May He, God, give you all things, the heart to worship Him, and to do His will, with a strong heart and a willing spirit. God bless.